Thank you. Uh, I, so I'm Jonah, and this is my opportunity project. All right, so what I, hold on. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what I'm, what my problem is uh, illegal immigration, and uh, in our, and uh, the, what I'm trying to do is develop a faster and uh, easier way to help immigrants with coming in, into our country legally by creating a quicker and easier algorithm for immigrant, immigrants to, to get visas. Uh, here's the problem. Uh, in our country, there's a huge and serious problem in the United States. According to the United States Department of Homeland Security, uh, about 11.4 million illegal immigrants are in this country. It's the 4% of our total U.S. population. And of those 11 million, 8 million illegals have taken jobs and then they don't pay taxes so it doesn't benefit our economy at all. Uh, those are the, the stats for uh, uh, what illegal immigrants have, uh, like the, their criminal, the, if they're criminals, that's what they've done. And that's how many, uh, like assault battery, burglary, uh, driving under, under the influence, and the FY stands for a fiscal year, and that's a, a lot. Uh, why does this mean so much to me? So uh, it means a lot to me because in the summer of 2015, my dad was the victim of an illegal immigrant committing a crime. My dad was involved in a serious hit and run, uh, and the illegal immigrant was uh, under the influence. He, my dad broke two ribs and, uh, and, a, and his hand and had a serious concussion. Uh, eventually, they caught the, the illegal and they found out that it was his fourth time entering the country illegally. Before this incident, he was charged with drug possession, drunk driving, and sexual assault. Uh, this di didn't just happen to my family. This stuff happens uh, all over the world and in, in any country, and the rest of the world should see this as an uh, see this as an important because not all illegal immigrants uh, not all illegal immigrants commit crimes or whatever. So some are good, but over 35 percent of uh, illegal immigrants have, have committed crimes in the country they crossed into. Uh, my solution is a simpler, easier, and quicker way for the for the immigration process. Uh, it, it will help the problem uh, by making the process faster so that less people will, will get lured into crossing illegally and more people will take the, the legal process. Uh, uh, they can get visas. Uh, what are visas? It's an endorsement on a passport uh, indicating that the, the holder is allowed to enter, leave, or stay for a specific period of time in the country. And for how, how long? Uh, as long with uh, other non-immigrant U.S. visas, a B-1 or B-2 visa has a valid validity period from one month to 10 years. Also, for one, two, or multiple entries into the U.S. and elicits a period of stay maximum of six months recorded by the Customs and Border Protection Officer at the port of entry. Uh, how, how am I gonna implement this? Um, in order for me to impl implement this project, I have an idea of figuring out and trying new techniques and ideas that might work, and I can bounce off and spread ideas to adults and other teens for their input on what on what I should do and what, uh, what are other good ideas to help. And those are my sources. Thank you. Questions so, for Jonah. Please. Question, can you go back to your data slide? Yes. I'm curious um, how these numbers stack up uh, versus the U.S. population as a whole. So if you look at the percentages, let's take fiscal year 18, mm -hmm. and you've got 1,300 uh, against uh, an 11.4 uh, million population. So that's 0 .001 or 1,000th one of a percent. Mm -hmm. How does that stack up to the population as a whole when you look at serious crimes? Mm -hmm. I'd be real curious, if, do they over or under sample? Because it seems like it might be even under sampling uh, compared to the U.S. population as a whole. And my, so my question then becomes, if we know that data, is this a, a, an illegal immigration problem, crime, or is it just a crime you know, problem in general, right? Yeah, I'm not saying that like every illegal immigrant commits crimes, because some of the only uh, crime they commit is crossing illegally, and then they, they just work and that's all they do. but. I'm also not saying that like that, that these are only c crimes that illegals commit. This is like crimes that every everyday people commit, and that's uh, the stats are just from the illegal immigrants committing the crimes. So um, how, yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say, um, kind of going off what he's saying there is, um, like you're saying, the percentage of the amount of illegal immigrants that are committing crimes or involved in this stuff is rather slim 
in comparison to them coming over and you know just working hard and you know people want to say oh they're taking jobs well they're doing jobs that most of the Americans are not going to do because even if you know they get deported or something where are the Americans flooding to like take over their jobs doing like this physical they're not there so they're doing jobs that most of us are not going to do um, but really if your issue that you're trying to solve is a quicker and easier way to you know get legal immigration I don't know if focusing so heavily on trying to demonize the illegal immigrants and like be like, oh, well, they do bad things. So, because really that's going to steer people, well, why would we want them in our country at all or whatever? And that I don't believe is the narrative that we should be pushing. Yeah. So, maybe kind of gearing that, showing the stats of how long it takes to get, you know, the visa and e even if they're granted clemency, like all the stuff, like how showing those stats and how it takes forever for, you know, them to get all their paperwork done and like, even if they take tests, it's like it takes years and years and yeah. years for all that stuff. I would more focus on that rather than, you know, the small margin of. It kind of charges the discussion when you do that. Like I, I'm reading, up, you know, I'm tracking along, and I believe we, you know, borders. That's what define countries, right? So I mean, it makes sense that we should have policies for how people come and go, and I, I think that's a great discussion to have. And I'm, uh, it, it's nice to see. Uh, a, a potentially controversial topic discussed in a way that's not disagreeable, you know, because we have we need to learn more civility, I think, in our country where we can disagree without being disagreeable. And but that said, what you do here is you charge the discussion with a illegals plus crime. Look at the you know, and it's like, well, wait a minute. When you look at it, like just I don't know the data, but to me, I would say that under that's less crime than what you'd see. Uh, by Americans in American cities, and therefore it kind of undermines the argument in general of like, what's your point here, right? Mm -hmm. The reality is, you know, uh, any anybody could have hit your dad that day in a car. It just so happened by the luck of the draw that it was someone that was here illegally. Mm -hmm. the, the real question to me would be, why isn't that person charged? You know, it's a crime and punishment problem more than it's an immigration problem in my estimation, but I think it's a, a super important topic, and it's it's great to see you know, that you can present this without the vitriol and the you know hyperbole and you know just crazy, crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in general, I, the flow, the presentation, the way you laid it out was very simple and easy to understand. The charts, I think, help go along with your story. One thing that I would suggest when you're using data like this is either to add a source or use that data in a format that's very easy for me to understand. Mm -hmm. So I haven't done the research or had the personal connection to it you have, so you know, assume that you know more than the audience you're speaking to, so you have to make it more simple. Uh, one of the other things that I think, you know, I'm intrigued by the idea of speeding up the process, to McKinsey's point, maybe that's one reason why a lot of people immigrate Ill illegally is because of the time it takes to get a proper entry. And then I would like to either, on the surface, hear more about uh, your proposal for algorithm mm -hmm. or a, a way with which a path that you think could help speed up the process. Um, but otherwise, I think, good job. Mm -hmm. 